You don't need a fancy lab or research ship to do science. Science is happening in your kitchen every day. Nabil has more. I love food. And after eating thousands of burgers, bananas, and burritos over the years, you'd think I'd have a good grasp on why I like what I like. But how we taste and experience food is actually pretty complicated. That's why I'm meeting with Dr. Jing Jia, a food scientist and professor at Cal State Los Angeles. During my middle school, high school years, a few major food safety crises happened in China, and food safety became a hot topic. So that's how I got to know about food science as a career. I really love my job being part of the group who are really feeding the world with the limited resources we have. Dr. Jia is studying how novel protein sources like rice bran and algae could help feed a growing world. Fundamental to that important work is understanding how humans taste and perceive food. So today, Dr. Jia is going to show me the different sensory attributes that affect every bite we eat, starting with texture. When we take the texture out of the food, a lot of times we won't even be able to tell what food we're tasting. Let me know what you think they are. I'm not sure what this is. They pretty much taste the same. These are two different types of fruit. One is apple, the other is pear. I would never mix up an apple and a pear if they were sitting in front of me. But when they're in a puree like this, they taste exactly the same. Another key sensory attribute that affects the way we perceive food is color. Here we got some drinks. Why don't you tell me what flavors they are based on the color? This one looks like it's gonna taste like blue raspberry, orange, or some sort of citrus flavor. This one, just flavorless. Let's try it. it doesn't taste like anything at all. <laughs> this one actually does taste like orange. This one also tastes like nothing. All of them are the same except the color. They are all mildly orange flavored. From a, an early age, we have learned to associate the color with specific flavors. Studies have shown that having the right color in the food, we would need less flavorant to make consumers be able to identify what that flavor is. And flavor is a lot more than just what your taste buds perceive. Smell plays a very important role in determining the flavor. To demonstrate this in action, Dr. Jia has me close my eyes and hold my nose to block off my sense of smell while tasting fruit candy. I have no idea what this is. Once I unpinch my nose, my olfactory receptors kick in. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's the green apple flavor. <laughs> The olfactory receptors are much more sensitive than the taste receptors. That's why we can smell a very small concentration of odorants, while it requires much higher concentration for us to taste the same compound. But besides taste and smell, there's something else to flavor as well. Kinesthetic sensations. Kinesthetic sensations are the feeling of heat, cold, touch, and pain caused by chemicals. A lot of times, chemistatic sensations are mistaken as taste, but they are very different. Like the cooling sensation you feel from the menthol and mint, or even the slight feeling of pain from things like this black pepper I'm trying. This is called pungency. Do you really feel the hurting sensation? It's like little, mm -hmm. little needles in my tongue. Some foods even give a numbing sensation like these Szechuan peppercorns. Feels like my tongue is sort of vibrating, and any place that I put the pepper on my tongue sort of turned it into this numbing feeling. Dr. Jia has one more experiment for me. She's going to try to trick my taste buds. First, I need to try this sour lemon. Ooh! Then, I try a special Miraculum candy. Once that's dissolved, it's time to try the lemon again. What? Are you kidding me? Are you eating more? <laughs> yes, it tastes amazing. Miraculine is a taste-modifying protein derived from the miracle fruit. It can modify our taste buds and make a starboard food taste sweet. 
Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jaw, for what ended up being a very awesome and very tasty day. <laughs> I never really considered all the sensory attributes that you have to take into account when making something that people are gonna eat. And who doesn't like food, you know? By the way, do you have any more lemons? Because these are hitting real different right now.